Good morning, good morning. Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning so far. So this morning, so this week, I'm really focused on the Bravo Barista Express, okay, and Bravo Barista Pro. So we talk about the basic grinder settings and how to use it. I think some video as I did how to clean it as well. So this morning, I'm going to talk about the three tools, okay, must have. So this is the tools that I've been using it for years, okay, years. And you know what? I realized that this is kind of like if you're brand new, okay. I'm not talking about you've been using machine for a while. I'm talking about the brand new the machine, or brand new to the machine, which means you just bought this machine last week, even yesterday, okay. So this is the three tools I think you should have, okay. Let's start with my favorite. 3D dosing funnel, okay? So you, this one you can get from Amazon. I'm going to put the link down below. But if you have a 3D print at home, you can print yourself as well. So this is, a, I know this is plastic, but this most cost effective. Make your, your life a lot easier. I'm going to show you how to do it in about a few minutes. So this one, if you have a 3D printer, just go to the Thingiverse, download the, uh, uh, the, uh, the program there. If not, you can go to Amazon, you can go to Etsy, Pretty much everybody sells this. So make sure to check out this 3D dosing funnel, okay? I know some of you have this. If you are watching my channel, most likely you have this. So 3D dosing funnel, highly recommended. Okay, number two, I'm gonna get going on this, okay? I don't wanna go through eat your time, so. Okay, scale. So why scale? So once you start getting into it, you guys are going to hear about ratios, okay? one to two ratios, one to three, one to 2.5. So having that scale is tremendous. So I'm gonna be dosing at 18 gram. So you actually measure those shots, okay? So having said that, based on those ratios, you are going to start developing the taste of espresso. And what I mean by that is sometimes you don't know what's good or bad. That's, I mean, some people love the strong coffee that doesn't mean they're good coffee. So once you have the ratio down and then you're starting to experiment, you know, kind of like find your, your own recipe. So number two is scale. Okay. Number three is tamping mat. I know this is not, I know some of you out there, you don't even have tamping mat. So, so this is kind of like three kind of essential. If you are getting into espresso game at home, Definitely get this. I know down the road, if you realize, you know, I really, I really enjoy making coffee and you are going to start upgrading your equipment, but at least, okay, right now, make sure start with least dosing funnel. Doesn't matter which one, okay? There are a lot of uh, dosing funnels out there, okay? Just pick one and use it. It's gonna be a lot easier to use, you know, a lot more enjoyable. It's messy free, okay, messy free. And scale is pretty nice to have because you are going to start dosing out 18 gram or 16 gram, whatever you like. Start keep track of that. So having that scale is very important. Uh, comes to scale, so which scale is the best, okay? There's no bad scales out there. There is or there isn't because it all depends on how much money you wanna spend on. So this one is uh, about $12 from Amazon. Works really good. I had it for two years now. But just make sure, do not spill it, okay? Do not spill the water, uh, not the coffee, okay? A big stain on it still. So make sure be careful, but you should last for a long time. And so this one is made by uh, G Dealer, okay? One of my favorite brand here from Amazon. Again, okay, so it comes to, again, tamping mat. Uh, goodness, uh, go search for Amazon. So this one happened to have the norm core, but yeah, this is very thick. But again, they got tons and tons of tamping mats out there. Just pick one and, you know, if you don't like it, just return it. All right. So this morning, I'm going to show you. I'm, I'm just going to use uh, these three different tools to make coffee, okay? I do have other tools, okay, but so this is like magnetic tools from San Anthony industry. But we, we're not gonna, you know, I'm gonna use it, but you know, you don't need it right now, okay? But just make sure making coffee is your thing, all right? 
Hold on one second. I might, I'll be right back. I'm gonna light is pretty bad right now. So hold on a second, guys. All right, I'm back. I'm telling you, the lighting in this my kitchen is hit and miss. It's about eight o'clock on eight o'clock this morning, but I got the direct sunlight coming from window. So right now, I think I got everything covered. So we should be good. Okay, so let's make some coffee. The reason why I don't talk about uh, like distribution tools, okay, or like knockbox, I'm not gonna talk about that yet or even different coffee canisters, all right? Because it's nice to have right now, but you don't need it for now, okay? You don't need it for now. Because, you know, you can store your coffee beans on just the back, okay? Leave, leave, uh, leave on the counter. That's it. Just, just leave on the counter. So, I mean, you don't need it. I mean, so much, what about bottomless pour filter, okay? So this is the bottomless pore filter. So this one, uh, let's see here. This one is from San Anthony Industry bottomless pore filter. Wonderful to use. But again, if you are starting into, starting into coffee right now, you know, that's the last week or so. I know you guys are excited buying some tools and start playing with it. But thing is, I don't want you to jump in to coffee at this point, okay? And Sometimes you're going to love it. Sometimes you're going to hate it. I mean, these, these tools are not cheap, okay? Not cheap at all. So just make sure once you're spending, start making um, money on coffee tools, that's something you want to do, okay? That's another reason. I'm just trying to focus on the, the basic essential tools like dosing funnel, like scale, like tamping mat, okay? I mean, that's, I think it, that's smart. You know, let me know in the comment section, okay? Let me know in the comment section. Love to hear your thoughts on it. All right, love to hear your thoughts. So this morning, I'm gonna be brewing. Uh, I got Columbia coffee beans. I already measured out 18 gram here, okay? Uh, by the way, great thing about the Bravo Brewster Pro, look at the startup time. I'm ready to brew, okay? I'm ready to brew. And also, in compared to Express, the steaming is pretty nice as well. Watch this. I'm gonna start the steam. Because with the Express, you have to wait about 10 seconds. This one is already ready to go. Okay. Uh, steam is pretty dry as well. It's not too bad, pretty dry too, so. Works pretty good. So let's get going. So here's my routine, okay? Because this machine is still cold, I just like to do the put the portal filter on, do like dummy shots, do some dummy shots here. We're gonna pull the shot right now. So I'm gonna be 18 gram in. We're gonna do 36 gram out. So I think I'm between anywhere between 36 and 40 gram. So that's the reason why we have the scale. Just like that. By the way, if you are new to the channel, welcome. Okay, welcome to daily live streaming here. Uh, we have, look like we have friends from, yeah, Josiah Isaiah from San Anthony Industry. Okay, I'm just gonna, again, 3D dosing funnel, so easy to use, just lock it in. And I got 18 gram, I already measured that on my, you know, this is kind of like little canister I got from Amazon. Smells pretty good. Okay. That's it. In the end, I like to tap it, just like that. Okay, just like tap it. So the reason why I liked having the, the mat, the tempting mat, you can actually tap it. 
just, just make sure everything tap, just make sure everything nice and flat. Okay, I'm just gonna tamp it here. So now we have very clean puck to work with. And then we are going to pull the shot, okay? I think I did a, uh, I think we did a video a couple of days ago about the, the grinder setting, okay? Again, grinder setting is the most, the challenging part for most people getting into espresso because what is good grinder setting? Uh, I cannot tell you that one. That's something you have to find out for yourself because I like this. I usually start with the middle, okay? For, for my machine, I start with the middle. So right now, I'm at grinder setting number seven, okay? So pro go up to number 30, one through 30. So I start with the number 15. I work way down, okay? Based on my shot time and based on my weight, the yield. So I come up with number seven. So let's take a look. I got a shot time, you know, here, let me. Pull up the camera around for a second. So again, I got the zero out, the timer there. The time but wait. I'm just gonna pull the shot there. Uh, great thing about the Pro, has a built-in timer. I like to, I mean, I, I've been really enjoying the manual mode, okay? Manual mode means you just hold down double or single, doesn't make any difference. And you're getting into pre-infusion mode. I'm gonna wait about five seconds and let go. Now it's give you full power. And then once I reach the yield, I'm just gonna press the button for start. So I'm at 20 seconds, okay? At 42 grams. All right, that looks, has a beautiful crema, lots of crema there. Again, the 20 seconds. I got 42 gram. Let's check it again. Okay, I'm just gonna check it one more time here. So I got, yeah, I got 40, I got 43 gram at about 20 seconds. So because I like to be between, uh, like 25 and 30 seconds. So most likely I'm like five to like 10 seconds short of this shot. Because I like the yield, I got 43 grams fine. But most likely this under extracted. Under means you're not quite squeeze out all the flavors there. I'm just gonna mix it and then, you know, let's try this. Let's try this coffee. So this coffee from Colombia I don't remember the tasting note, but we're gonna find out, okay? Cheers. By the way, if you are brand new to Bravo, uh, join, the, join the community, okay? I got Bravo Brista Express Pro. They're a very unique machine, I have to say. Uh, the price point is fine, the good price point. I think you're gonna enjoy it, just make sure Play with it, okay? I know you get, you get, you're gonna have some frustration, but it's gonna get better, trust me, all right? Uh, big shout out to Charlie for super, super sticker. Charlie, you are great, buddy. Thanks, bud. All right, cheers. It is under extracted, which means a little sour, okay? A little sour there, so. Yeah, it's not that great. But still, still drinkable, okay? Even though it's not that great, but still, a whole lot better than the coffee shot for sure. Even my terrible shot is still better than uh, coffee shots I've been to. So, so it, it tells a lot, okay? It tells a lot about, uh, you know, being a home barista. So, because you are going to make the shot you want. That's another reason having that scare is key. Uh, fortunately, Bravo Brewster Pro has a built-in timer. So if you don't have a timer, just use your, you know, your phone. Start the time, start, you know, start. You don't have to do it every single time. 
start measuring your recipe. So now, I'm at number seven right now. So if I'm gonna adjust it, I need to go down even more, okay? So I'm at seven, so maybe like number six or five is my next uh, guess, okay? So that's what I need to do next time. So anyway, uh, if you have, uh, let's see here, we have another super sticker there. Let's see here, this time, hold on a second. What's the name of YouTube Consumer? Okay, YouTube Consumer is the name. Big shout out to YouTube Consumer there. They look like there's pounds. Uh, uh, friends from the Europe, maybe I think the UK, United Kingdom. All right, big shout out to them as well. Okay, so hold on, uh, I'm gonna go. So again, if you're brand new to the, my live streaming, bingo, we have another super sticker here. We have an Emmett. Big shout out to Emmett. This is fantastic, guys. Okay, so last year, uh, we raised, goodness, quite a bit for Super st uh, Sticker and Chat. So big thanks to you guys. We are added to uh, Little Bianca in our coffee cave. But, you know, I have to say, over the years, I'm still always go back to Bravo, Brista Express or Pro. And again, if you have a struggle with this machine, please join the, our Discord channel, okay? Uh, I'm going to put the link down below for our Discord channel because we have about 300 members there. They are eager to help you guys out, okay? I, I hope they do. So, I mean, uh, you can ask all kinds of questions about the machine and built-in grinder. I mean, we have a pretty good experts, okay? I'm gonna, we have really good experts there. Uh, sometimes, whenever you guys send me an Instagram message, I don't get to it, but... Uh, uh, if you come to the, our Discord channel, we have a lot of people, you know, they love to help you guys out. So anyway, uh, I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. And then uh, next week, uh, let's get into more advanced, okay, advanced tools, perhaps. So once, you, so let's say you are getting into coffee, you really like it, okay. Now you need to start adding on some tools and then, uh, we're going to talk about the uh, coming days in the coming weeks. Makes big difference. Makes big difference in your coffee as well. And also it's fun. It's, it's really fun. And we're gonna talk about some more latte art. I've been really getting into latte arts lately. Man, goodness. I, I usually make about two, between two and three latte every single morning. Not for me, but you know, for family, mem family members. But I practice, but it's not the same. Okay, it's not the same. So if you guys are struggling with the latte art right now, don't worry about it. It's going to come to you eventually. So yeah, just have some, again, uh, have some fun. Okay, have some fun. Hold on a second here. We have, yep. Again, uh, if you are new to the channel, just join the live chat as well. Join the live chat, you know, just, you're trying to, I'm trying to build a community that fun and share some recipes and, I mean, this is fun machine, okay? I know people start giving me, giving me hard time about the why you're still using Bravo machines if you have a little like Bianca at the shop. I mean, this machine is my family machine. My, all my family uses it. You know, my kids use it, my wife use it. I mean, this is really, I don't, I don't see myself let my family use the little like Bianca, but this machine is kind of like guilt-free machine, I say. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning and see you guys tomorrow.